uh, when, when you're at the starting starting phase of the of the business? Yeah. Um, yeah. My question, based off of that stuff, is kind of when, because I kind of battle in my head between like, you know, like right now I'm starting, I have no clients. Yeah. And so, like, why would I make this a legal entity and like go mm -hmm. through the legal stuff if like I don't even have a client yet? You yeah. Know? Like, when yeah. do you kind of recommend to start? Yeah. Like actually formalizing the legality of it getting the business insurance like getting mm -hmm. oh, yeah it's 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 a good question and it's actually one i had a coach asked me a similar thing uh, it was yesterday i had a call with a coach and mm. my response to him was it all comes down to coaching experience so so for me personally before i started my business i already had 10 plus years of of coaching experience yeah. I, w I started from the bottom. I started working with two and three year olds Then I progressed into older kids. And um, then I worked for a coaching company out in the U S uh, mm -hmm. and that exposed me to working with players in one-on-one -on -one setting in small groups, doing camps, doing clinics, doing residential camps, you know, any type of training you can think of after I had experienced all of that. And, you know, at this point now, you can give me a two-year-old and I know what to do, how to coach him. You can give me an 18 advanced-year-old, I'll know how to coach him. So once you're at that stage where you're so comfortable working with different age groups, then I would say that's 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 the moment where you can say to yourself, do you know what, I feel confident now starting my own thing and working with clients. Okay, mm -hmm. What you could do at the beginning before you start your business uh, legally is you could offer free sessions okay so you could offer free one-on-one -on -one training sessions to parents that you come across may say you say you start working at a local club right and parents are looking for extra training right you can offer that yeah uh, do it for free just to get experience right and also you might you might realize you know it might not be for you maybe you yeah. don't want to do the small groups you want to do one-on-one -on -one. Maybe you don't want to do one-on-one. -on -one, you want to do uh, larger groups, maybe players, uh, groups of 10 plus players. Yeah. Okay. So once you have enough experience to the point where you say, do you know what? You know, you can give me any age group. You can give me boy. You can give me girl. You can give me a U8 team. You can give me a U11 team. You can give me a U15. And I know what to do with these players. Once you get to that level, I feel that that's when... You say, right, okay, now I'm confident enough to try and start my own my own business, working with my own clients and training them my, with my own philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same as when, you know, when you're learning the game of soccer, right? Once once you're at a level where you know the game off by heart, um, you know, that's that's when you become a professional, essentially. Yeah. Right. So and it, I believe it's the same with 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 um having a business once you once you've done it all you've started from the bottom you've made your way up you've volunteered you've done paid positions then you say do you know what okay now i feel like i'm ready to start my own thing